The Philippine Navy says there's been a substantial decrease in presence of Chinese vessels and warships in the West Philippine Sea amid ongoing talks between Manila and Beijing. Still, Chinese media continue to cry foul and make noise over the resupply missions. Brian Castillo with that report. In the drone video, four Philippine Coast Guard ships are positioned side by side in the area of Sabina or Escoda Shoal. They are being followed by a China Coast Guard vessel. Meanwhile, not far away, another China Coast Guard ship can be seen heading towards the country's lined up vessels. According to Philippine Coast Guard spokesperson for the West Philippine Sea, Commodore J. Tariela, the three 44-meter vessels of the PCG and the larger BRP Teresa Magbanwa came from a resupply mission to several Coast Guard stations in the West Philippine Sea. We are doing everything that we can with all that we have to ensure that our territory is intact, our sovereignty and sovereign rights are protected. This will mean increased presence, this will mean increased maritime and air patrols, this will mean stationing ships longer than necessary. Escorda Shoal is located 71 nautical miles from mainland Palawan and is within the Philippine Exclusive Economic Zone. China, however, continues to question Philippine presence in the area. In the video released by the Global Times, a Beijing-controlled publication, it alleged that apart from supplying food and water, the PCG also transported construction materials to escort the shoal. It claimed that several sacks of cement were loaded onto BRB Teresa Magbanwa while the refueling was going on. Their video even highlighted a tub of biscuits that were meant for the troops with the caption saying that in addition to necessities, the Philippines also sent casual items such as cookies to ship 9701. Also over the weekend, China reportedly deployed its aircraft carrier Shandong to the South China Sea. The ship sailed approximately 200 nautical miles from Luzon, just at the border of the Philippines' EEZ. According to Beijing, this was a way to prevent Manila's continued provocations at sea. But the AFP said it wasn't alarmed. Thank you. We have to understand that the South China Sea is a nautical highway. It could be likened to EDSA. We are aware of them. They are authorized under UNCLOS either through freedom of navigation or rights of innocent passage. And indeed, the AFP has confirmed that there's been a significant decrease in the number of Chinese ships in the West Philippine Sea. In the latest monitoring by the Philippine Navy, from 129 Chinese vessels on June 18 to 24, they monitored just 95 in the past week from June 25 to July 1. That's a decrease of more than 30 ships. We don't want to speculate on the reduction. Suffice it to say, we have monitored a reduction on a week-to-week -week ba basis of our monitoring. For whatever reason, this will be subject to further assessments. The timing could be a factor. Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo has confirmed that the Philippines and China convened the bilateral consultation mechanism this week. The BCM was established more than seven years ago to facilitate bilateral dialogue on maritime issues. This is the first formal meeting between Manila and Beijing since the June 17 incident in Ayungin Shoal. And Manalo told reporters he was, quote, hoping for the best. For News 5, Brian Castillo, we are One News.